So in this video, I'm going to go over two more reveals. Uh, one of them is gigantic and it is really cool, but uh, that's going to be the second one. The first one is kind of just the types of creatures that you're going to see in this world and they look really interesting. Pay attention to specific creatures and how they looked before versus how they look in this picture. You might pick up what I'm trying to say. I'm thinking maybe there might be a little bit of a TLC on some of these creatures. But yeah, anyway, guys, enjoy the video. Yep. And here wow, we go. So we've we go. got quite a surprise for you guys. Um, as you know, there's going to be a lot of unique biomes in Genesis, and with those biomes are going to be some very unique dinos uh, with with new skins uh, for them. Uh, these are just a few of the ones that we have. Uh, as you can see there, we've got the Allosaurus, the Paraceratherium, the Parasaur, the Parasaur, uh, the Mosasaurus, Spino, Raptor, Tapiara, and the Saber. Um, I think if you take a good look at them, you can kind of see um, what biomes they're representing. And that each one of these dinos will, will have a, similar to the aberrant dinos, they'll have some slightly adjusted stats, um, so these are more... Uh, valuable to the player. Um, Will they be able to tame these? Yeah, they'll absolutely be able to tame Woo! these. So in the, let's say, the bog area where the parasaur looks like it might reside, uh, in the bog area, all the parasaurs will be that kind of parasaur. Okay. Um, and you will be able to bring them to the, the maps and, uh, you know, take them to there and show people your dinosaur that's unique to Genesis, uh, unique from Genesis, and we will have quite a few for each biome. Now, this is, while it may not seem like a lot, this is actually pretty big. Um, and honestly, uh, uh, you know, one of the things I hear about, at least with things that people want in advance, is people definitely like different colored dinos and different, you know, regions on dinos and things like that. So I think this is going to be really exciting because, um, although it is the same creature with slightly adjusted stats, as Zane said, um, it, it I feel like these reskins are a little bit more than the reskins that we typically do. Um, well, and it's the creatures that are already very used and very useful. Yep. Um, just giving them a new flavor, a new twist. And those stats that you're getting are definitely a benefit if you're trying to min-max, if you're trying to get the best dino possible. Um, these will get you something that's a little bit better than anything else as far as... And I don't want to misquote the stat because we've changed which ones we're using. Uh either health or damage uh, but as far as that stack goes that gets boosted um, this will be the absolute best that you can't get nice so if you do want to go for that best line and you want the best damage or health i can't remember i need to look at my notes again uh it's been a lot it's been a long time since we started doing these guys but uh they they will have a boost that will put them a, a step above every other dino from the island or anywhere else um, and they also look extremely unique Yep. Get a new flavor on each one of these guys. So this could be something considered for PvE. You know, the PvE people were in here and saying nothing was in the DLC. I, I know that... We've gotten quite a bit for PvE. No, we do. Like, I'm just bringing up more things that could also be used in PvE. There was a point where I PvE. remember we were PvE only devs. Mm -hmm. So, like, it just it changes based on... Oh, it does. It, it'll change, yep. Revealed. Yep, it'll change, but... Uh, you know, there's uh, the thing that I was trying to point out earlier is I think there's going to be something uh, in this DLC for however you play the game. It's a matter of uh, figuring out how to work with, you know, what you're doing and, and how you're set up. Um, so I don't want people to think that, oh, this is a PvP DLC. This is a PvE DLC. No, it's just a DLC that um, it's going to have things in it that are going to be used on PvE and PvP. It's just a matter of how you can incorporate that into your your daily lifestyle inside of art. You see that Paraceratherium? Yes. The leopard print? It looks kind of cool. It does. I it's like unique. it. I like it. I like the raptor, too. I, I like... Oh, yeah. the raptor's pretty. The spino, I love. I like all of them. I'm being honest. Like, all of them, I absolutely love. Like, I love these skins, and I love these changes. And I think it kind of makes sense, also, because, you know, biome... Uh, when a creature is in a certain habitat, they're obviously going to evolve a little bit for that habitat. So it, it feels a little bit more immersive to me to have dinos or creatures um, that 
seem like they are in that habitat, and these obviously do seem like they've come from or have been in that habitat for a while, and they have to adapt to, you know, things that are around them. So for me, I, I love little stuff like that, even though people may seem that, or people may think that this is small. Um, you know, these little things make a, a world of difference for me personally when I play the game. These little touches like this, um, these are the things that add that final uh, polish to the game that I really like. So I know I'm excited about these. I know a lot of people in chat will be excited about these. I know people are going to be taming them, especially like you said, if you're min-maxing. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, obviously, if you just like having dinos and you, you like this type specifically, there, there's no reason not to tame them. Um, and if you're living on the, the server, they're, they're going to get tamed anyways. Yep. Um, but this is just our way of making sure that there, it's it's feeling extra even though, uh, yeah, it's it's giving you a lot of new dinos in a, in a new flavor, in a new way that we haven't been able to do before. Exciting. Very cool. Very exciting. Exciting. Man, all and right. They do blend in with the environments well. Which we haven't shown much of. Yeah. But I think that's more on purpose than anything. Yeah. So, yeah, those creatures look really, really amazing. And one thing you got to bear in mind is that those are just a few of the ones that we're going to be getting. Uh, so, honestly, it kind of looks like maybe the, the, the Sabertooth and the Mosa might actually have some sort of TLC. Because um, those look really different. Now, they did say that they are slightly changed to adapt to their environment, but... I kind of half feel that um, maybe they're going to update the old models for those creatures. Uh, the Saber actually has already gotten a TLC update. It was the very first creature to get one. Um, so it would be kind of funny if they were to go ahead and do another one. But, I mean, that definitely looks a little bit different. Its teeth look a lot longer. And it, in general, it just looks more like a saber tooth. But, um, yeah, what do you guys think about all those creatures? Which looks the coolest? I think the Spino is really cool and the Mosa is awesome as well. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. And also, uh, we got the giant reveal. So enjoy this one because it's, it's a big one. And this is it. This is the, the motor. Motor. M Modair? M Modair. This is going to be a uh, – it's going to take me some time to be able to say this right because it's not, it's not a normal – Enunciation. I think I was talking to Chris about this. That I'm, I'm familiar with. It's it's motor. 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 Yeah, I think Chris was trying. I was telling Chris that I probably would not be able to pronounce this, and he helped me out. So I'm probably still butchering it because I'm sleepy now, but I think it was motor. Motor. Chad is probably like, man, these guys are like, yeah, it's motor. Let's do that. Let's go with that. So what motor is this motor? Uh, she is our underwater midway boss like our sub boss uh and this is a purely underwater fight uh it's in a big giant massive cavern uh plenty of room to to move around it's not too cramped or anything like that um she has some babies you got to fight the babies and then oh, she man she's not gonna like that so then you're gonna have to deal with her and they're all eels big giant giant Massive eels. Um, they have some pretty significant electrical attacks that you can't get very close to. They will uh, they'll zap you. All um, right. It's going to be a challenging fight, and it'll definitely require a lot of preparation. And it's underwater, so that's not something that we've done a lot of previously. You know, we have a few of the big underwater tames like Mosasaur uh, or the Squid. Uh, those are definitely complex tames, but and especially the squid, he, he's a very complex tame. But it, there's it's only those single interactions, and we yeah. did do the caves in the on the island, and those are fantastic and amazing. Uh, but this is going to be something entirely different, a full on, you know, combat experience designed to be fun for tames from the water. Um, if you are equipped with the proper diving gear or movement gear. Uh, you can fight off a mount, but it will be very difficult because there's some very big projectiles being thrown around um, that you'd have to dodge, uh, and they, they're electrical, so they're not fun to deal with. Yeah, it doesn't sound fun to deal with. Yeah, it's, it's a difficult boss, but it, we're, we are definitely aiming for it to be a challenging fight, but one that you have to prepare for. As a player, um, 
What can I expect of my reward to be from this fight? Is it just the accomplishment of saying I beat this? Do I get some type of goodies with it? Um, you know, is it is it strictly just something that I want to do for an accomplishment, or could I expect to see something? You need else? something more other than bragging rights. I mean, some people do. I, I mean, I don't. But <laughs> no, there there'll definitely be awards attached um, at the very least in grams. But as it uh, as we build out those final parts, that's that's where all those details come into place. For sure. Um, and we have ideas for what that is, but. It's hard to say until we've gotten into full Yeah, I don't think testing. we need details. I just wanted to at least set the expectation for people that um, are looking to encounter this. Uh, you know, if it is just for bragging rights, it's cool. Because a lot of people do things for bragging rights. I mean, I do. Everything's uh, got to be worth it. Yeah. Everything has to be worth it. Uh, whether that is the engrams that you get unlocked for it uh, or just the rewards that you get from uh, in challenge, taking on that challenge and, and, and taking, doing that fight. Um, everything is definitely, it has to have, it has to be worth it. Yeah. Because this is not a easy thing to do. It's definitely not easy to, to go up to the harder version. Uh, that's always going to be a challenge. And for those that can complete that, uh, we want them to be rewarded. This is uh, exciting because I know for the longest, for the longest, um, players have asked for some type of underwater pulse fight or some type of underwater pulse. Um, you know, and it's something that I'm really looking forward to, not because I would actually do it because I don't get into the water in games. Um, but I, I am looking forward to it because it is something that I know people have requested, people have asked for, people have been looking forward to, very similar to, you know, some things that people saw in our Genesis, uh, you know, reveal. Uh, there was a particular creature in there that everybody, I mean, like everybody has asked me for, and I've seen uh, in the community. So um, we're getting to add some of those things in Genesis, which I think is really cool. Um, these are things that the community has been asking for, has been requesting, and it's and it's fun to finally get around or get some time to do those things and invest in them the right way and actually put some effort into them. So uh, I know the deep sea uh, balls and, and underwater fights and, uh, you know, it, it's, these are things that have been requested for sure. Yeah, we're, and we're, we're trying to deliver on those. We're trying to give those gameplay aspects and, and flesh those out and satisfy those needs and, and challenge those people who, who didn't think that was something that they wanted to do. You know, deliver an experience that's fun for, for everyone, even people that weren't wanting that. Yeah. So, the motor. Motor? I don't exactly know. I don't think they actually even corrected themselves properly. I think it might be pronounced motor. Anyway, this giant sea leviathan eel creature looks absolutely crazy. I've always really wanted a water boss in Ark, and I'm really glad that they're actually getting to do it, because they did say that they wanted to do it for a long time, and it's really good that they're actually getting to do it now with this DLC. So, honestly, there's so much water stuff with this DLC, and mm, I kind of feel like that might be the main biome in this actual map, and all the other stuff might just be side stuff, because we have so many different items that are related to water, we have this giant boss, we have a giant, like, turtle, we have a spider that can walk across water, um, and then we also have, like, the water platforms and everything. It just seems like there's a ton of, like, water traversing uh, stuff, and there's even, like, this other thing that kind of looks like a bit of a jet ski that was revealed, but not properly. It's just one of the little, like, broken dossier things, so... Just tons of water stuff in this DLC, so that's going to be really fun. Um, yeah, what do you guys think about all this? Obviously, the creatures look really cool, and uh, now we have this giant world boss and her little baby minions. This is going to be really, really fun to take on. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think about this? Let me know down below, and um, I think there's one more reveal. I'm not sure what it's going to be, but we'll see. So guys, stay tuned for that. Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to get the notifications for the new videos. And if you enjoyed this one, go ahead and slap a like on it. I'll catch you in the next one.